Until today, creating AI ads with real character consistency was nearly impossible. After weeks of testing different workflows, I found a way to create AI ads with perfectly consistent characters. Okay, wait. Am I the only one who feels like airports are insanely chaotic? I used to feel super low energy. That's why in this video, I'll walk you through three different workflows, starting with the fastest and simplest option. And the last one is the most advanced workflow, giving you the best and most consistent results. For all three workflows, we're going to be using a tool called Arcads. If you want to follow along at your own pace, I've left a link to Arcads in the description below. By the way, to be completely transparent, Arcads is sponsoring this video, but that doesn't mean they are not the best at what they do. So let's get into it. Once you sign up for Arcads and start a new project, click the top left option to begin. This will open up the main workspace. For our first workflow, we want to head over to the video section in the bottom right. Before you click Generate, make sure Sora 2 Pro is selected. This option is available directly in Arcads and is one of the best for video generation, especially for realism and consistency. Next, you'll want to select the video length you're going for. I'm going to choose 12 seconds here, then head over to Presets. From here, sort them by Sora 2 Actors. This is where the first part of the workflow really starts to get powerful. You already have access to a large selection of preset actors. These are pre-built actors that stay perfectly consistent across every video you generate, so you don't have to worry about faces or expressions changing between clips. You can think of this as choosing your actor for the ad. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and select this girl in the airport since I'm creating an ad for a newsletter promotion. For the prompt itself, you don't need to re-describe what's happening in the scene, except if you want to be specific. Because the actor and environment are already set, you can focus entirely on the dialogue. I'm going to write a rough outline of the dialogue. The actor does not need to follow it word for word, just stay on topic and speak naturally. I'm going to write, the woman in the video does not hold a phone and speaks in an actual Gen Z tone. She says, okay, wait, am I the only one who feels like airports are insanely chaotic with people rushing everywhere, but at the same time, they feel weirdly calm, like nothing else in the world matters? Once I'm done writing, I'll generate the first video. Here's the result we got back. Okay, wait, am I the only one who feels like airports are insanely chaotic, people sprinting, bags everywhere, but at the same time, they're weirdly calm, like nothing else in the world matters? As you can see, it looks super natural. The actor delivers the line in a very human-like way, which is honestly pretty insane. Now let's turn this into a full ad. I'm going to click the remix button, and for the next dialogue line, I'll use the sentence, I used to get stressed at airports for absolutely no real reason over lines delays and crowds, and it honestly ruined the whole travel vibe before I even got on the plane or felt excited about the trip. I'll go ahead and generate that one as well. I used to get stressed at airports for absolutely no real reason. Lines, delays, the crowds, just all of it. The result comes out just as good, and you'll notice that the character stays perfectly consistent. Let's add the next clip to the sequence. For the dialogue, I'll paste in. Once I started using a few simple airport tips, everything changed. Traveling felt smoother, more organized, and way less overwhelming, and I could finally just enjoy the experience instead of stressing the whole time. Once that finished generating, I made another clip using this line. If you fly even a little, you should honestly be on the airport tips newsletter because it makes everything easier from check-in to security to boarding, and it saves you stress every single time you travel. Now let's put everything together and watch the full result. Okay, wait, am I the only one who feels like airports are insanely chaotic, people sprinting, bags everywhere, but at the same time, they're weirdly calm, like nothing else in the world matters. I used to get stressed at airports for absolutely no real reason. Lines, delays, the crowds, just all of it. I'd be tense before I even got to the gate, and it kind of ruined the whole travel vibe before the trip even started. Once I started using a few simple airport tips, everything changed. Traveling felt smoother, way more organized, and so much less overwhelming. Now I can actually just enjoy the whole thing instead of stressing the entire time. If you fly even a little, you should honestly be on the airport tips newsletter. It walks you through check-in, security, boarding, all of it, and it saves you so much stress every single trip. We just generated a 40 second ad where the character stays perfectly consistent, delivering all the dialogue naturally. This method is super powerful and will obviously get you results very quickly. Sometimes you need more control, especially when working with specific products, visuals, or custom footage. So for this next workflow, we're going to switch things up. Instead of using preset actors, we're going to head over to the image section and create our own actor. You're creating a reusable influencer you can use across multiple videos. For this example, I'm creating a natural looking girl who feels like a real influencer, not a polished model. 
I'll go to the image section and select Image and Pro. This is currently one of the most powerful models for creating and editing images, especially when you want realistic results. For the prompt, I'm going to write an image taken on an iPhone of an actual girl who looks like a TikTok creator or influencer. She looks a little messy, like she just finished doing something. She doesn't look like a model or overly professional, and she's sitting in a natural, casual setting. Next, I'll generate three images, so we have a few strong options. And here is the results we got back. The images have a nice selfie style angle and look very natural and usable. Now let's add in a product. I'm using an AG1 bottle image that I found online. I'm going to take the version of the image I like the most, click at it, and upload the AG1 bottle image. For the prompt, I'll write, make the girl in the image hold up the bottle naturally, like she's filming herself and showing it to the camera. I'll click generate, and here are the results. All of the images look very natural and realistic, which is exactly what we want. Now what we're going to do is select the image we like the most and click Talking Actor. This allows us to turn this image into a preset character that we can reuse for scripts, ads, and videos. Once we do that, we'll select the voice settings. I'm going to choose female, then young for age, and set the language to English. There are a lot of voices to choose from. For this example, I'm gonna go with Ashley, then I'll click save. Now that this image is a talking actor, we don't need to prompt the visuals anymore. Now we just paste in the script and let her say it. This is the script I'll be using. There's also a really cool feature here that I've only seen inside Arcads, and that's the emotion model. With OmniHuman 1.5 selected, the script gains real emotional delivery. This helps the voice sound more natural and can even add subtle hand gestures to the video. Next, let's fine tune the voice settings. I'll play it once so you can hear how it sounds by default. I used to feel super low energy all the time. And I had this constant brain fog. It already sounds good, but I want to make a few adjustments. I'm going to increase the speed to 1.15 and lower the stability to 0.25. Higher stability is better if you're targeting an older demographic, but for this example, I want it to feel more dynamic and natural. Similarity works in a similar way. Higher values help keep the voice consistent, especially when you're making similar videos. For this one, I'm going to lower it to 0.25, so there's more variation and a more human feel. Style exaggeration controls how expressive the voice is. This setting adds more emotion and personality to the delivery, so I'll increase it to 0.5. Now let's listen again. I used to feel super low energy all the time, and I had this constant brain fog. You can hear that it sounds completely different, much more natural and expressive. Let's generate the video and walk through the final result together. I used to feel super low energy all the time, and I had this constant brain fog. I didn't want to take a million supplements or basically eat pills for breakfast. That's when I found AG1. It's an easy daily drink that helps me get the vitamins and minerals I was missing. If you're tired of feeling low energy and foggy, you can try AG1 using the link in the description. It looks incredible. This lets you make unlimited videos with the same actor while changing the script or message and keeping the character consistent. What's even cooler is that you can also change the entire environment. Let's do that now. I'll take the image we used for our actor, click at it and write, Make the actor stand in a kitchen. And here's what the final result looks like. It's the same person, but now placed in a completely different environment. We can turn this version into a talking actor as well and use it for a totally new script. And no matter what we do, the character will always stay perfectly consistent. Now let's jump into the final workflow. This one gives you maximum control over every single part of your ad. For this workflow, we're going to start by generating the product itself. In this example, I'm going to create an ad for gym wear. So for the first image, I'll write, a minimal solid colored long sleeve hanging on a steel bar in a minimal studio environment. The long sleeve has the product name written in a clean font in the middle. The brand is called Coreflow. And this is the image we get back. Now that we have our product image, we can start building the story. For the first shot, I'm going to generate an image of a person walking into a minimal gym. I'll write a woman walking into a minimal gym. She's wearing the long sleeve from the first image. She is a brunette woman who looks serious and ready for training. There are no other people in the shot, and the camera is positioned in front of her as if she just walked through the gym doors. Here's the result we get back. It looks great and feels very polished. Next, I want to create the effect of her walking through the camera. So I'm gonna generate another image and paste in my prompt. This gives us the feeling of motion and progression. Next up, I'm going to generate a new image of her lying down on a bench. All right, make the woman lie down on a bench, viewed from the side with her face and chest not visible. And here's the shot we get back. Now I want to generate a shot of her actually bench pressing. For this one, I'll write, 
Make a shot facing the woman as she's doing a bench press. Position the camera in line with her body so that her face is not visible. This part is important since hiding the face helps keep the character consistent. And here's the result after everything finishes generating. Finally, let's do the shot of her sitting up. I'll go with this for the prompt. Make a shot of the woman sitting up on the bench. Make sure the clothing and the appearance of the woman match image one. And here's the final image. Now let's turn all of this into a video. I'll start with the first shot. I'm gonna click on it and select transform into video. I'll make sure the model is set to VO 3.1 since this model allows us to use end frames. For the end frame, I'm going to attach a black image. This will let us create a smooth transition as she walks into the camera. For the prompt, I'll write, create a shot of a woman walking straight toward the camera, eventually walking close to it until the screen turns black. The aesthetic should feel like a gym ad with strong pacing and a cinematic look. I'll click generate and here's the result. It looks really good and fits exactly what we're going for. Next up, we'll create the second shot. I'm going to use the black frame as the starting frame and the image of the woman facing away from the camera as the end frame. For the prompt, I'll write, make the shot look like the woman walks away from the camera and then stands still in the middle of the gym. The aesthetic should feel like a gym ad. I'll generate that and the result comes out just as good. Now I want to create the transition from her standing in the gym to her lying down on the bench. I'll import both images and write, create a shot of the woman walking toward the bench press, laying down and getting ready for her set. The aesthetic should look like a gym ad. And here's the result that comes out of it. It looks very natural and flows nicely. Next, I'll import the image where we're facing the woman while she's bench pressing. For the prompt, I'll write, create a hard cut transition from the woman performing her reps directly to her sitting upright on the bench in the end frame. Do not show the barbell leaving the frame. The cut happens instantly between actions with no intermediate motion. And here's the final movement shot. The woman stays perfectly consistent with her original appearance and the product stays consistent as well. Now let's create the final product shot. I'll import the product image and write, create a still shot of the product as a voice behind the camera says core flow made for the gym in an ad like tone. And here's the final result. It looks incredible. Now I'll stitch everything together, pick music that fits the vibe and show you the final ad. Core flow, made for the gym. The character stays perfectly consistent throughout the entire video, whether she's facing the camera, facing away, or moving between shots. And that's the final and most advanced workflow. You now have all three workflows for creating consistent characters in your AI ads. And imagine how much easier this makes creating ads with AI. You never have to struggle with characters not matching between different frames, and you're finally able to create ads in any length you want. And all of this is possible because of Arcads. Arcads is a complete AI ad platform with everything you need to create ads with consistent characters. It's always updated with the newest models and everything is packaged in a clean, easy to understand interface. If you want to create ads with consistent characters, you can sign up for Arcads using my link below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.